Good morning, my name is Bobby Ann Allen and I'm the women's minister at Willowbrook and today we are in John chapter 20. As I read through John chapter 20, a verse stood out to me. It's in um, verse 21. It says, Jesus said to them again, peace to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. I think as believers, most of us are really comfortable with this idea of that Jesus was sent by God to earth. It's this incarnation of Jesus, God becoming flesh. It, it's fundamental for most of us as part of our faith, the incarnation of Jesus. In fact, in John 4, chapter 4 through chapter 8, Jesus talks about being sent from the Father 14 separate times. It's, this is not a new concept for us. And most of us are pretty comfortable with it. But I wonder how many of us as believers have found the same identity that Jesus had as one who was sent if we find our identity as ones who are sent. Because Jesus says, as the Father has sent me, I now send you. As a believer, do you live as if you are sent? I think as we are in this quarantined time of isolation, we can think, well, how, how do I live sent when I'm stuck at home, when I can't go? Being sent is not so much a location as it is a mindset. It's this idea of who can I reach within my sphere of influence? And for some of us, that means that you go and you, you work during the day. Your, your business is open. You may be an essential worker and you can go. Um, for some of us, that means it's safer at home right now. And our, our circle looks a little different. It may be picking up the phone. It may be sending a text. It may be helping the neighbor with groceries. Being sent is this mindset of who can I reach with the gospel of Christ. And in today's time, maybe that's not happening face to face for you, but maybe you still have an opportunity to reach out, to, to be a reflection, one who is living sent as Jesus was sent by the Father. He sends you. Would you live sent today? We love you. Your church loves you, and we can't wait to see you soon.